A new survey finds that the number of young Americans consuming online videos has more than doubled in the past four years. Common Sense Media issued the report. The research finds that 56% of children between the ages of 8 and 12 and 69% of 12 to 18 year olds are watching online videos every day. That is up from 24 and 34% respectively back in 2015. So Michael Robb is the Senior Director of Research at Common Sense Media, and he joins me now from West Hartford, Connecticut. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. I, I have to admit, I have been kind of waiting with dread to talk to you, because I have an eight-year-old daughter, and I admit, the phone is never very far from her. And I also admit, you know, I kind of use it just to kind of keep her busy from time to time, so I might fall right in line with the statistics. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, so, Michael, what is driving this increase in online video watching um, from teens and tweens, and, and what does that tell us? Well, first of all, no judgment. I have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old as well, and I totally get it. Um, what's driving it is, um, I think, the increased availability of, of YouTube and popularity of things like YouTube. Um, kids love it. They say they use it more than any other online streaming site, and it's coinciding also with a decrease in kind of traditional TV viewing. So as regular TV viewing is going down, online video is picking up uh, the pace, which I think, you know, changes both the kinds of content that kids are exposed to mm -hmm. and uh, the how, the how kids are watching. And so this is sort of interesting. The survey also found that overall average of screen time over the past four years actually hasn't changed. So mm -hmm. I take it that they're just using the t their regular screen time. I guess it would have been TV and sort of years gone by and they're switching over to their various devices. Yeah, that, that's basically it. I mean, screen time has remained fairly level. You see lots of like little increases in things like gaming and video and social media and stuff like that, but nothing dramatic. But the, the how of how they're doing it has changed quite a bit. So it's much more mobile, much more personalized, much more individualized than it was in years past. Yeah, and of course, I guess the concern with that is that you know YouTube is not TV, where you have maybe some sort of guidance, uh, um, some sort of input about the quality of programming. Anyone can upload a video to YouTube. So the research found that yeah. the platform that is most popular for watching online videos is YouTube, but most tweens are using the regular version, not the YouTube kids, which is targeted towards them. Is there any real harm with children logging onto the regular YouTube versus the kid version? I mean, the, the terms of service on YouTube say that the site is not for children under the age of 13, mm -hmm. and that's because they capture data about uh, users, which, you know, if you're under 13, companies aren't supposed to be collecting certain kinds of data. Um, there's also the potential that kids can be exposed to all kinds of nasty stuff on YouTube, and we've all heard maybe of the term like the YouTube rabbit hole, where you kind of get stuck down, you know, watching one video, and then you get recommended to another video, and yeah. all of a sudden you find yourself on something that is... Um, maybe disturbing or scary for children. Yeah. So um, it's, it can be really troublesome for kids who are not ready for it. And like you said, like they do have YouTube kids, but our survey shows that kids really aren't using it. Yeah, but you know, even I kind of, because that's what my kid uses, YouTube kids. And it is kind of difficult though, to um, guard against all types of influences. Even YouTube kids, there's some stuff there that she stumbles on that I think is too mature for her because she's only eight. Um, so you really have to be kind of over the shoulder watching your kid. Is YouTube doing anything to sort of steer kids away from the regular YouTube and more towards YouTube kids? I mean, they're encouraging people to use YouTube kids, mm -hmm. but beyond that, I'm, you know, it's not like they're putting up pop-ups or something that says, please shift over to YouTube kids, you know, if you're watching a video that's clearly meant for a younger child. Yeah. So I think there probably is more that can be done to try to, to make that shift or to otherwise protect the main site, yeah, um, I, yeah from, from kids who are younger than 13. So, you know, my mother's always on me about the screen time that my uh, child, you know, enjoys, that she, it's too much, and blah, blah, blah. And I try to tell her, well, you know, it's, it's different times. And uh, I watch TV, she's, she's watching the screen. But, I, you know, I said don't judge me in sort of a playful way, but I kind of do feel a little judged. A lot of the other parents that I know have a list of regulations. My kid only gets, you know, the, the phone on the weekend, or we've got a timer on the phone, or all that sort of thing. I don't know how to pry the phone away from my kid's hand, quite frankly. So tell me, what can I do as a parent to make sure that she has a healthy balance when it comes to these devices? Because she also learns a lot using the devices as well. That's the other thing. I mean, and that's also the flip side of YouTube is that there's actually a lot of really good content out there too. Do-it-yourself videos, uh, learning videos, lots of opportunities to um, you know, get involved in educational content that you might not otherwise be exposed to. Uh, but it's, you know, I would say don't, 
don't make yourself feel guilty and try to focus on the things that you know are good for child development. Mm -hmm. So getting a good night's sleep, getting good nutrition, playing with friends, playing with toys, um, doing your homework. If you can make sure that your kids are doing the things that you know are good and right for child development, then you don't have to worry about counting every single screen minute. Um, and then, you know, try to push yourself, push your kids toward uh, good content. There's lots of good stuff out there. Yeah. And even if you can't watch over their shoulder all the time, ask them what they're watching at the dinner table. Um, you know, because most kids like to talk about the tech and media that they're using. Oh, that is so true. That'll, you know, she'll talk your ear off about that, but she is doing all yeah. that other good stuff as well. Um, Michael, Rob, thank you so much. Thank you.